Hello. So I apologize for the noise where we don't have any power where I live. So yeah, there's a generator in the background. And so that means I don't have any lights in where I'm recording that. But I luckily I'm able to plug my computer into and the internet and the router for the internet into the to get some power into the generator. So anyway, this is programming challenge what is it, six dash one retail price calculator. Write an application that accepts from the wholesale from the user the wholesale. So you need an input a text input box. The, the the wholesale cost of an item and its markup percentage. So you need two text boxes. For example, if an item's wholesale cost is five dollars and the retail price is ten dollars, and its markup is a hundred percent. So they just gave you that calculation right there. So you take the the text box, you and you divide it by you divide it by the markup percentage, and then you actually you multiply it by the markup percentage. And then you divide it by a hundred. So yeah, that's that's the, and then you have to re-add the actual initial, the wholesale cost. So I'll, I'll show you that here in a second. The program should contain a function called calculate retail that receives the wholesale cost and the markup and the markup percentage as arguments and returns the retail price of an item. When the user clicks get retail button, the program should do the following. Verify the values entered for the user and the wholesale cost. The markup percent are numeric and not negative. Okay. So call the calculate retail function, all right, and display the, the retail cost returned from the function. Okay, so let's see what I did here. So this is the form here. I don't know. I can move that around, I guess, a little bit. You can see it a little bit better. So this is the form. What did I call it? I called it form retail price calc. And I called it the retail price calculator here. And then I put three labels, one, two, three. Actually, this is a label two because this is what holds the total for the retail price. And then I put TXT, I think I called this wholesale cost. I just called it wholesale. TXT wholesale. And this is called TXT percent markup. And I put an exit button and a clear button and the calculate retail price. So let's just run it really quick before we go into the what actually what the programming code is on it. So what was our test? Ten dollars, so it should come out with twenty. We put ten dollars percent markup, call it hundred percent markup. Well, that's cool. That works. What if we wanted to do like 54.8 or 5% markup? Yeah, that works. Cool. All right, let's look at the code now. So it's all coded in the calculate retail except for the functions. This is the clear button up here first. It's the it clears the text box, makes them empty, all of them. And here's what we did. So we needed some variables first. So we made them decimals. So they print as decimals. So we got the wholesale cost as decimal, the percent markup as a decimal, and the retail cost as a decimal. And we wanted it to be an input to accept the input that we put in the wholesale cost. So we made the variable, that variable that we just declared. And we called it a C decimal. And then we took the text of the first text box, the TXT wholesale. 
and put it in the percent or sale wholesale cost and it did the same with this markup percent markup here and then this is this is the figure out the markup equation so this is the retail cost and this is calculate the retail and this is what we're doing we're sending this argument this is actually I don't know I think it's a function and then we're sending it these two arguments which these are not necessarily the same as up here but they can be and we're using them as the same as up here so we're sending them these two this text box and this text box to calculate retail which is what we were supposed to do and then this is the parsing of it this is you know this is the case they enter a value that's less than or just zero into into the the first text box the wholesale text box if it's less than or equal to zero so that if they enter nothing or zero in there then it's you must enter a numerical value and you get an input error else if it's the wholesale is greater than zero and we format it as a number to string that's a currency and put it in the retail price so let's look at the and this this i i put as um what do you call it um when they wanted to check and see so if this is this is for error handling so this is this is on the key press event so if you double click into this box you get a, a text changed right so we but that's not what we want we want the key press so if you do click in there and then you go up here you can find key press here see that and then that goes up to our key press event which we don't need the text change anymore because we're using the key press event so this is to check and see and make sure that the enters a zero through a nine so any of the numbers so this is just to make sure you're entering the number if you're entering anything except a, a period in the number like you could put 10.00 and that's okay but if you put like like wrote out 10 that that wouldn't work there so this i like this form of checking because this checks the actual ascii key characters so this is our little variable that's holding our ascii key character so this 45 is the actual is a period so that's why i put equals greater than or less than or so if ascii key character is greater than or equal to 45 so that's the period or ascii key character is less than 57 which is the the i think that's the whatever comes after right after the nine then see this is this is for the keyboard press period or zero through nine so if it's true then please enter a valid number number one through nine or or a period and then you get the input error for a period let's make that more i can hardly see anything in here that yeah, that's pretty good and i know we put it oh there's a function right there so this is all we did in our function we took the the it's up to the top here we put this right underneath the class so it's in the class 
and we took it, we called it calculate retail. We sent it the variables wholesale as a decimal and sent it the value of percent markup as a decimal. And we made it all as a decimal because that's the kind of object we're using. And then we return the only, this is, this is what we did in there. The wholesale cost times the percent markup divided by a hundred. And then we have to re add in the wholesale cost. And that's the entire equation. So let's go ahead and take a look at that again. That's our function that we used. And there's our exit button here. Close is the app. The clear. And that's where we call it right there. And those are the two arguments we send it, the parameters arguments, the these here and here. And that's the value of the text boxes. So We'll go ahead and save that really quick. I made a couple little changes there, even though I had already written this. Okay, and now we're. So, so for instance, if we put it in A here, see how we get inner valid number between one and nine, or a. I guess I should change that to zero because it accepts zero too. But yeah. That's what I'll do. So, okay, let's go change that really quick. So that was down in the key press characters here. So we can change that to zero because it has to be zero through nine. So those are your ASCII characters. I like, and that's the thing. I like this version of error checking. And I did the other version of the error, error checking in the hospital program. And this is easier to do than, than the, um, the other way of doing error checking. Anyway, let's save that again. And we'll run it. So, and then let's say the wholesale cost is, let's say it's $30. And our markup is 35%. And what is that? 40, 50, looks pretty good. So anyway, that's Programming Challenge 6.1, the uh, Retail Price Calculator. So that should do that for that. Anyway, I hope you guys like it. All right, thanks, bye.